Let's go ahead and hit a little bit of that um, adductor into hip flexor. All right, so the adductor, we're gonna lay on the foam roller at an angle. I like to start closest to or deepest inside the groin and then work my way out. All right, so having said that, I'm gonna lay on it, get that angle, okay, get it close in, tuck the groin in there, and I almost wanna make my body dead weight here, all right? Oftentimes people will try and brace, so whether it's the discomfort of the foam rolling or whether they just feel a little bit unsecure on the ground here, they'll try and brace themselves, so they're trying to hold themselves up, which I understand, but for the sake of this, try and make yourself dead weight and just kind of lay into it. Because the more that you can kind of just let your body weight go against the foam roller and let gravity pull you down, the more the foam roller will be allowed to go into that tissue. The tissue has to let it kind of sink in. All right, and so then I'm gonna work this flexion and extension of the knee. All right, so just so you can see that. Once I'm here, all right, I'm gonna go flexion drive the heel back, and then extend the leg back out as I'm continuing to just allow this foam roller work into those adductors. Now, as I do this, I even add a little bit of internal and external rotation. So I'm gonna kind of open my hip up more, and then sometimes I'll close it off depending on what I'm feeling, all right? You just be aware of that. All right, then I'm gonna just kind of transition it down, just working a little bit at a time, and now I actually feel a lot more tension than when I was just in the groin. So again, I'm gonna work my minute here, work the flexion extension, extension of the leg, of the knee, and then a little bit of internal and external rotation of the hip. All right, after a minute, I work it down and I continue to work until I get Within a few inches of the knee, sometimes your, t your lines of tension won't run that deep. That's okay. You don't have to always cover that entire distance. Again, you want to listen to what the body's telling you. All right, and transitioning here, let's go hip flexor. So hip flexor, you kind of have wrapping spiraling in inside there. If you're using the foam roller, you want to get the edge of that, all right? You want to get the edge of that foam roller and start it off. And I mean, you're going to feel it fairly quickly there. And again, become dead weight there, all right? Just kind of relax, let it sink in. Now on this, you almost want to work an internal, external rotation of the... So as I sit into this foam roller, all right, I'm actually going to turn my foot in to lengthen the hip flexor and then externally rotate the foot out to shorten. And if you're questioning, oh, I don't know if I'm, once you start doing this, you will actively feel your hip flexor. And if you're getting it good, it's gonna talk to you. Almost everyone needs this to some extent. All right, and again, you can go a little bit higher. All right, you can work a little bit lower into the groin. All right, give each of those a minute there. So that's the adductor hip flexor, just quick hit. All right, spend your, spend your few minutes there working through the adductors, work the hip flexors, all right? And that's a good place to begin.